Hello everyone. Welcome to Shannon Gardens. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So today I am focusing on doing a little bit of a front porch refresh. I've got some rocking chairs out there and I'm looking to replace some pillows and plant my planters out there and just kind of do a little bit of a refresh and a cleanup. And I wanted to take you guys along and show you that process and the before and after and how everything looks and comes together in the end. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is one of the pots that I'll be replanting that has some existing primrose as well as some grass that I'll be moving to another pot. And these are the rocking chairs, tables, and existing pillows that I have. The rocking chairs and tables just need to be cleaned up, but I will be replacing these pillows. I've had them for years and they're about due to be replaced. I have another planter here that I'll be replacing and I'll be saving that grass and that primrose as well. And I've still got a pansy that's still living, but I'll be replacing this one. And then I'll also be replacing this hummingbird feeder as well. Okay, so I first wanted to show you guys the cushions and the hummingbird feeder that I picked out. And it took a little bit of looking to do. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I'll order something or I'll think something's going to work. And then when I get it home, I realize it's not really what I was looking for. However, I'm very excited about what I ended up with. So I've got these cushions here. So I got, uh, these are outdoor cushions that I ordered on Amazon and I'm very pleased with the print and I love the colors. I just feel like they're very pretty, but also muted. And then I also got the hummingbird feeder from Amazon as well. And you can tell that again, I'm in keeping in that greenish tone. And so I got this hummingbird feeder here. This is a glass top. And then I made sure to get the wider mouth so that it's easier to clean out. I'll just show you guys that there. And then also to make sure that the flowers on the base are the red coloration to help attract the hummingbirds to the feeder. And then all I'm going to do, I make my own hummingbird food. And so I just do one part of white granulated sugar to four parts water. So for this uh, container, I think one cup will be fine. And so I'll do one cup of water to a quarter cup of the white granulated sugar. I'll heat up the water, add the sugar, stir it until it's dissolved. And then I will let that cool and then put it in my container. And of course, make sure when you are feeding your hummingbirds that you're cleaning that out regularly and you're keeping an eye out to make sure that you don't get any mold in there as well. So I'm so excited that I've got these here and now I'm going to get to planting my containers and show you my hanging pots as well. Okay, guys, so I did want to show you the plants that I've picked out for my front containers. And again, I'm looking to go with some brighter colors in my plantings and then have more muted or subdued tones with some of my accessories like my pillows. So what I've got here is some calabricoa and you can tell that I've pretty much stayed in the same family. I've got a lot of nice bright pinks here, but I've got my calabricoa. I've got my vinca, some geraniums caladium and that's got some pink in it as well to play off the pink of my other flowers my calabricoa has pink this one also is the same color it just doesn't have any blooms on it right now and then i've got an impatient here now this is a new one for me catharanthus and i just thought that those were so pretty and i thought the flowers were so cute looking and then another geranium, again, with that white and pink. And then a coleus, or what I believe is a coleus, although it's not marked, but I do believe that I am correct and that that is a coleus. And then I also have some creeping jenny. So you can tell here that with my green plants, I really chose to get a nice bright green with the coleus, with my creeping jenny, and then here with my caladium. I wanted that nice bright pop of color. I've got gray as the backdrop to that. So I just wanted something that would stand out nicely against the coloration of the house. Okay, so I am starting with my first pot here and this is right in my entryway. I've got my new soil already added to all my containers as well as fertilizer. I've removed the old soil. And so I'm just going to start placing my plants. Now, one thing I did want to point out, because this is a, at an entryway, 
I'm going to slant my plants, I believe, more like this. So it's rather than having them stacked from here, I'm going to do it at a slant. I just feel like that's more welcoming and I like that look better, um, particularly when we're talking about how people are going to view it the most as they're walking up. So I think I'm going to start with my coleus and I'm stacking from the tallest all the way down to the shortest and then having the draping probably the caliber koa right here to drape over the end so as i place these i may change my mind as i do the other pots but as i showed you guys i really kept in the same color family so that everything is going to tie together nicely and nothing looks out of place or looks like it doesn't belong when i'm talking about my containers particularly in the front so i've got my coleus here I think I'm going to put my geranium here. Hmm. I've got this catharanthus, which I think I'm going to put up. Oop, I think I'm going to put up here as well. I think that looks really cute, actually. And then maybe my calabricoa. Hmm. I may. Let me see. Yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. And then my calabricoa. All right, so I'm going to leave that like that. I'm not going to plant it just yet, just to see if there's any other change that I want to make um, with my other two planters. But I think this is the way I'm going to go for right now. All right, you guys, so I've moved on, and I've got my second pot here where I've put the caladium, this geranium, and then my impatient and my creeping jenny now i've put my caladium and my impatient over to the side that gets less sun whereas this geranium and creeping jenny will get more sun so i've positioned them so that they are in the appropriate spot where they will thrive best in this location and then last but certainly not least, I have my two remaining vincas here, my calabricoa, and I actually am going to make use of this existing grass that I had out here, and I'm going to plant that as a backdrop to this container. So I'll get all these planted, and I'll show you guys the end result. All right, you guys, so I finished up, and here is the first pot. I've got my coleus, my geranium right here beside it. I've got my catharanthus right here below and then my calabricoa, which will drape over the side of this pot. And all these will fill in nicely to take up the space here. In my second pot with the gray backdrop here, I've got my pretty caladium. I really, really like this white with the soft pink here on the leaves as well. And then I've got my other geranium, which brings in that nice white and pink. And then my creeping jenny, which adds some light to this area and will drape over the side here. And then also my impatient, which brings in some pink and a different color of uh, leaf, which I like and I think plays nicely off this creeping jenny, the brightness of the creeping jenny here, and then this dark leaf. I think it looks really nice paired together. And then in my last pot here, I've utilized my existing grass that I had purchased and I actually divided, so I've got another one of these as well. I got my other calabricoa, which again is gonna fill in here and then drape over the side. So I've started from my tallest in the back and then built my way down. I've also added a couple of hanging pots. Now I purchased these hanging pots last year actually on Amazon, so I'm just reusing what I have. And then I bought these wave petunias on sale and these are tying in some other colors that I have planted in the front pine island and uh, will help tie in all those colors together so I've got that lovely yellow and then the beautiful pinkish purple right here as well and those will also drape over which I think looks so nice in the hanging pot when everything kind of fills in and drapes over that as well. So here's the final result with everything cleaned up and the new planters planted. And I just wanted to show you guys a brief overview with my new hummingbird feeder as well and the hanging pots. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm so excited to get the front porch done and I just think it looks nice and put together. And so I'm very happy with the end result. Thank you so much again. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, happy gardening and goodbye.